Okay, what is our Facebook page for the course? You may interact with us and other students and see what you can find. Then you may get some information over there, maybe video lectures are uploaded over there regularly. Like and maybe if there is a short query or some question, you can post on that. So, in this lecture, we are going to talk about basic information retrieval models. Uh, last week, we studied these things. What is web science? So, we defined it. What is a web science? Those of you who missed it, can you can easily look, look back into the videos which are over there. And also, in the slides, if they don't have much time. Then we also covered why we need web science, why another science, why, why? There, there was a new science, it was beautiful, but why web science now, a new field? Then we talked about last time the implications of web science, so, and we, we shared some of the statements of the people, such as Alex Smith, the ex-CEO of Google, saying that the new entrepreneurship could be founded uh, upon the web science idea. You can see the realization such as Facebook, Twitter, others are following and trying to make a fortune. And both nationally and regionally. So maybe in Pakistan it's not that true, but worldwide it is true that they have their regional portals, such as different parts of the world they have their own search engine and they don't prefer the inter international search engine because there is limited market for it. Then um, finally, in the last class, we discussed a case study just IE, which was a, a research project at Microsoft Research, headed by JB Tiban. And we told you about this thing, and we, we told you if you can understand these basic things, maybe you can later on see yourself working for Microsoft Research or such a life. <coughs> Today, so we are going to discuss these content, basic information retrieval models, approaches. Then there is a very uh, strong, uh, strong phrase that they say, a very renowned phrase, bag of words. You need to remember this bag of words because you, if you are going to work in this area, you will hear this very oftenly. <coughs> information retrieval models. There are three basic which we are going to cover, such as Boolean model, Kaspersky based topic language models. So, before moving, I mean, it seems a jump. Last time we said web science, and now we are talking about information retrieval. So, what's the connection between these two? So, think about what 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 was web, by the way. Web was made to facilitate people, right? So, how do people see this whole big thing? They don't know how to reach to a point where they are interested, actually. They don't know. They trust few companies, a few orders, a few, few pointers such as Google, Yahoo and these things to look at what they are looking for. So, what happened? In this process, web, if you see, is like an encyclopedia to people, right? But, what do you want from encyclopedia? You want from encyclopedia <coughs> to get what you want, right? The correct and the reasonable information. For that, what can you do? You read, if there were in the form of books, you read. Sometimes you skim through, look into the index. In the last pages, you have an index, right? By word, you search. But on web, there is no such thing as index. Can you look into the index of web? Definitely not. You cannot. It's, hu it, it, it's impossible because you are human. You cannot read so much of the words and find out what you are looking for. For that reason, people needed web search engine. And what is a web search engine? This we will cover later <coughs> on. But before this, we are with very in, in very simple words, I want to express what is the essence of web search engine. So in the web, there is information. Right? 
you all know, there is information. And in order to retrieve that information, you need to have a question, right? Question, what you what you look at, and then there should be a response according to that. Question. And this is basically information retrieval, and that's the link between web and information retrieval. So whenever you see people who say, "I'm involved in web science," not not you don't see people saying this. Maybe they are saying, "I am into web technologies," and the guy is PhD. And then you see the next bullet. He says, "I'm an interested in information retrieval." Right? So it's basically well connected with each other. Web and information retrieval. Maybe the guys who are working in information retrieval are not aware of web science and technology because it's very new. Right? In terms of science, it has just been realized. Like as late as 2006, so people who are working in information retrieval may not know that oh, there existed a parent umbrella over me, which was web science and technology. So maybe that is the catch. And then, so today we had we have three ways of dealing or proceeding from first lecture towards the second lecture. We can either have a web graph model. explaining you how we can map the web the problem of web mathematically so that you can understand what is web this was one way of taking the second lecture but we decided it for the later time maybe in the lecture 3 or 4 then there was another approach we can begin by siding with how do people see it web as so we can get into people's mind and get into the social aspect of web right and uh uh started the discussion from social angle in lecture number 2 but we said, we we thought that that's not the way of catering with this at this time and we decided for the later part then the third approach was to connect both that is let's have basic like you know pre you i pre assume that you know some about web maybe if you cannot define well but you know something about that and then you know something about social web or social aspect of the web somehow right and the 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 best way to take this lecture in a natural transition was to bring in the two together and the two together would be information retrieval because information is reflecting the user or the people or the social aspect maybe if you can see it that way and the retrieval side is reflecting how the web is modeled because in retrieval we are going to talk about how web resolves what user is looking for therefore we took uh, the second lecture of information retrieval i hope that becomes that becomes clear in your mind while we are discussing information retrieval concepts in lecture number 2 <coughs> so now computer based information management is basic problem <coughs> How to use computer to help humans store, organize, and retrieve information? That's the challenge. All right. That was the basic thing. What approaches have been taken, and what has been successful? So, what was the past about the this basic problem? What was the past? So, we see there there are three major approaches for solving what is in the user's head. right what what the user want the first approach was by the people from the databases right you had some fixed queries and fixed thing and some fixed answers right then there was another way of solving this problem you guys came in and they say oh we have an expert system idea and you can get your answers by expert system and the third one was the group of information retrieval approach so these three look similar right if you can recall back into your head it looks similar they are trying to solve the same problem you have a question and we have an answer for you but they are different fields right they are different so what is the difference in their this approach <coughs> they say information is is stored in highly structured way do you agree you have a fixed 
very fixed tables 